Hello, Brett here, and today we're going to take a look at the basic functionality of the Support Chat WordPress plugin. So we've already installed the plugin on our website, and the very first thing we're going to want to do is log in as a support agent with the password that we created when we installed the plugin. Now, if you're going to do the support yourself, you can simply log into this area, minimize the window, and you'll get an audio tone to give you notice anytime a customer is asking to initiate a chat. If you're going to hire other people or have other people do the support for you, you can simply link them to this page that you set up when you install the plugin and they can log in without ever having to be a part of your dashboard or get into your WordPress admin area. So let's go ahead and log in and see how it works. So here I am, I'm logged into the chat agents area and on the left hand side would be where all the customers are that are requesting in the middle is going to be the current chat and on the bottom is going to be where I type in my responses to the customers now there are no customers right now so it's blank and uh, what I want to do is go ahead and simulate a customer so I'll go to the other page and I'll act as a customer so you can see how it works so here I am on the test page with the chat pop-up on it. I'm going to go ahead and click the live support tab and it's going to ask me for my name to begin the chat which I'll type in. And it's going to let me ask a question. Now I'll just simulate a question here. And you might be able to actually hear it in the video. You can hear that knocking sound that's actually the other window in my browser where I have the agents area open it's giving me that audio tone that a customer needs assistance so let's go over and see that and we can see what the agent sees so this is the agents area uh, and you can see now I am shown here in red indicating that I have not been assigned to a support agent and you can hear there's that audio tone announcing that there is a customer right now that needs assistance so what I'm going to do is I will click on the radio button. Now I can see his question and I can respond to it. Now you'll notice once I have responded to that customer, that customer's name has changed to green. It also has the name of the logged in support agent who is assisting that customer and this will be available to all agents so if you have multiple agents they will all be able to see this uh, it is green now to let people know let the other agents know that somebody is assisting that customer there's no need to respond to them and I can now chat and back and forth with the customer you'll also notice that the audio knocking sound has ended because there are no more customers that need assistance so now I can chat back and forth with the customer when I have finished com helping the customer I can click this little X button and that will close out the customer and remove him from the chat. So that's a quick look at how the support chat system works. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm always glad to be of assistance. Thank you and enjoy.